So this week we end up seeing a lot of stuff likely up on deck. We'll probably discuss that a little bit tomorrow, but we're getting closer and closer to season one, and that means new content for Vanguard and also the Warzone integration. But before that, next week we do have something of pretty big importance, that being the last hours of Verdansk, the final send-off for all that we've seen within Warzone the last year and eight months now at this point. Today, we're going to break down what we know so far about that event and what you can look forward to because it might not be entirely what you expect to every degree that you expect. So that said, as we break it down, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to this event? Maybe not so much. What do you expect to see out of it? Whatever the case may be, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoy the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. You guys have been crushing it here. So let's aim for 2000 likes once again. Truly appreciate the continued support. Really does mean the world to me. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to stay up to date with all things Vanguard, all things Warzone, especially as we round into season one here with nearly 70% of viewers not subscribed. If you'd like to stay up to date with all of that, all while helping us out on that road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you in the community. That said, let's jump right into it. So really, we're already closer to the end of Verdansk, the destruction of Verdansk, than we may actually consider because it's part three of a three-part series. We've already seen two of these pieces introduced to the puzzle as the last couple of weeks. Part one was Operation Flashback, that game mode that is honestly pretty cool. I kind of wish that I had more time in the day to both grind my Vanguard weapons and rank up everything so that I'm ready for the Warzone integration with Vanguard later on as season one kicks off, and also be able to have enough time to play that Operation Flashback because it is a cool celebration of the history of Verdansk. Everything that we've seen really, in a sense, since March of last year in 2020, up to where we are now, a year and a half later, a little bit over that of everything we've done in Verdansk and in Warzone. So that's part one of three, but also introduced recently was the Secrets of the Pacific event, live now within Warzone and in Vanguard as well, to give us new rewards. That mainly being some things like calling cards, emblems, and stickers relating to Caldera, the brand new Pacific-themed map for Warzone Pacific, launching with Season 1, what we're shifting into after Verdansk, but also the overall goal here, if you end up getting all six of those challenges done in either Warzone or Vanguard is to end up getting that Bomber Menace STG-44 blueprint, something that we can't use until Season 1, but is that exclusive reward we end up getting for completing all of that. And then finally, part three of three of the coup de gras, the capping off of Verdansk's history, is this final, seemingly actual in-game event of the last hours of Verdansk. What we know officially, truth be told, is not quite a lot. They still have been mums the word on all of this, which is surprising because through all of these last couple of pieces leading up to this, it was said that we'd get blog posts detailing everything along the way. But we haven't quite seen that, and so therefore, I'm also kind of not expecting this to happen for the last hours of Verdansk, though I would absolutely welcome something here in the next couple of days, getting us ready to that if that actually does in fact change, and unlike the last couple, we actually do end up getting that. But when it was previously announced, it was mentioned, don't miss the end of Warzone as we know it. The destruction begins on November 30th. We have yet to get declassified information on this Beanox the developed event, except for this. Expect a spectacular and fitting end to your time in Verdansk as we say farewell to the Castovian city dot 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 forever question mark. But that was something that was detailed in the sort of everything you need to know on the road to launch for Vanguard ahead of that launch earlier in the month. But we do know that as of recently, Season 1 actually got delayed by about a week, so that November 30th is no longer the accurate time frame that you should be looking for. Instead, Season 1 now starts on December 8th with a little bit of a 24-hour early access period here, leading over for Warzone in particular. The Vanguard stuff and everything goes live on December 8th, but that then shifts the timetable for when we'd see this last hour of Verdansk event happen, and that actually now happens December 6th, two days before Season 1 starts at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So what does this then mean for the gameplay, what we can expect to see with this last hours of Verdansk event, and also what's this mean then for that time frame between December 6th and December 8th, because that's a two-day window of, well, we have zero idea what will happen. If you destroy Verdansk on December 6th, and we don't have access until the new map until starting on December 8th, well, what are you going to do in that time frame? Well, starting with this, one of the big things recently that has been mentioned in regards to any sort of context clues, because again, there is so little listed here, is Bombs Away. It was listed at the end of that Everything You Need to Know blog post. Again, the dates talking about when you can expect to see that last hours of Verdansk event happen, though the dates are incorrect. It says the last hours of Verdansk, Bombs Away. See what happens to Verdansk before Warzone goes dark to prepare for the Caldera and Season 1. 
So Bombs Away is something that is interesting because we've seen this in sort of two fashions already. Number one, most recently in drawing perhaps a direct parallel is that STG-44 blueprint that is the reward for the secrets of the Pacific event, the Bomber Menace. It's quite possible that the naming itself could actually be an Easter egg hinting at what is going to be upcoming for what happens to Verdansk. But also, leaks in the past have indicated the use of bombers once again coming back within Warzone as a part of another event. And that might might seem kind of strange because that's actually how we saw Vanguard actually revealed officially within Warzone was a sort of bomber event after you completed and stopped the train. It of course showed that cutscene and then you ended up having to extract during an air raid. But is that something that's so crazy and truly out of the ordinary to see the sort of same mainline event utilized twice? Well, not so much because we've actually seen that happen already within Warzone. We saw that the first nuke event that was theorized since season three or so of Modern Warfare was something that led up to the ending of the Modern Warfare 2019 I'd say true canon ending, where Task Force 141 stops Zakayev's plan to enact World War III, where the ending cutscene was Price stopping the nuke from being launched. But then we saw Warzone's shift to Verdansk 84 was caused directly by an actual nuke launch due to the overrunning of zombies in Verdansk. Again, thinking on that kind of, I think that that, if we ever see Verdansk mentioned again or introduced once again through the Modern Warfare universe, I kind of think that that will be retconned, just a sort of convenient transition using the IP of zombies from Treyarch to move over into a year of thematic focus for Warzone, but not actually canon to the modern warfare universe and storyline, but that was something that we had seen before. So the prospect of using the same sort of event basics wouldn't be out of the ordinary because we've already seen it. But then they also mention before Warzone goes dark. Now, the event starts on the 6th, likely going on for that day and potentially that day alone, but December 8th, again, is when everything goes live for early access. Those that have Vanguard, they own the game, they get 24 hours of early access to the brand new map of Caldera, and then free-to-play users and the rest of anyone in the Call of Duty world that does not have Vanguard can play that new Warzone Pacific experience going for the next year or so, starting on the 9th, 24 hours later. But what happens between the 6th and the 8th. We know that Rebirth Island isn't going anywhere, so it's not like Warzone is going to have how Fortnite had that downtime of, what, 24 to 48 hours or something like that, where nothing could be played. You can still play Rebirth Island and everything, but that'll basically be it, because at that point, Warzone is actually going dark. Verdansk is not going to be playable. So the offering for a little bit of time leading up to the entire launch of Warzone Pacific, that brand new experience, that's something that is going to be very limited. So right now, while we don't really have a whole ton of specific details about the upcoming event, we know the general basics and what we can actually expect here. So that's where I think we're going to wrap it up. Wanted to keep you guys in the loop with everything so that you know what's up on deck, when it's happening, and what you can expect even afterwards. Now, I'm hoping that with this event, we get some sort of exclusive rewards or something like that, how we saw with the reveal events, maybe for Black Ops, Cold War, and Vanguard. It'd be cool to see here some final things with the end of Verdansk, but we'll have to wait and see how all that rolls out. But for the time being, that's what we know, so hopefully this proved insightful. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Are you guys looking forward to the end of Verdansk and what lies ahead? Whatever the case may be, feel free to drop it down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone. We got a lot of stuff here coming up in the very near future with Season 1 right around the corner, so we'll keep the deal with everything you need to know. That said, Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.